breaking news is Terry's struggle at the end of a pursuit. A suspect suddenly turns on officers as they try to cuff him. Plus, the school bus goes up in flames with a high school football team on board. And a final farewell to an American hero killed in the airport attack in Afghanistan. But we do begin with our breaking news, that frightening scene at the end of a police pursuit when that suspect, you can see here, suddenly attacked officers. This all happened after a THC chase that began in Valencia with a speeding driver. The suspect eventually raced west on the 118 and exited in Simi Valley. As the driver tried to get back on the 118, officers pinned him. The car went off the road. The suspect got out, put his hands up, and walked back towards the officers. After he got down on his knees, a CHP officer moved in to handcuff the man, and that's when he suddenly began struggling with the officer. Yeah, second officer, you see, does jump in there, and for more than 20 seconds, the officer engaged in a desperate struggle. They smashed into a car and got knocked to the ground before finally getting control of that suspect on the ground. A third officer did arrive and managed to get that suspect handcuffed and taken into custody. And more breaking news tonight, another chase. And this one ended with the suspect hitting two cars and an MTA bus. Then the suspect bailed out and ran, but was caught in a nearby alley. The LAPD tells us the original want on this chase was reckless driving. Well, our other big story tonight, a final farewell for Marine Lance Corporal Dylan Marola. He was among the 13 service members killed in the airport attack in Afghanistan. Today, the community came together to remember and honor the 20-year-old local hero at his funeral. Take on line's Rick Montanez has more on this emotional day for Marola's family and friends. A lot of support here at Forest Lawn for the Marola family as they invited the public out here to lay Lance Corporal Dylan Marola to rest this afternoon.